This is WNEP's Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. Join us for streamside adventures. Days in the field with new and old friends. It's all about making memories and following traditions. And exciting hunting experiences with interesting people. We've captured the beauty and majesty of the great outdoors. And it's all next on Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. Hello everyone and welcome to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. I'm Don Jacobs and let's just face it, Memorial Day weekend has come very quickly upon us. And of course, I hope you enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. Official start to the boating season, official start to the camping season, and state park use usually goes up at this time as well. We are here at Promised Land State Park on the Pocono Plateau, beautiful Pike County. What are we doing? We're gonna take a tour. We're gonna talk to the manager, Tara Brugger, and she's gonna tell us all about how COVID affected her last year and what you can expect now. We're at Promised Land State Park right now. It's a, it's a fairly large park located in the Poconos. Promised Land State Park is about 3,000 acres in size. We are surrounded about another 16,000 acres of Delaware State Forest. We have two main lakes of the park, Promised Land Lake and then Lower Lake down below. The main draw of Promised Land State Park is probably our overnight facilities besides our lakes. We have a little over 400 overnight facilities here at Promised Land State Park, ranging from everything from camping to cottages to cabins and even a Whitaker Lodge. So this is a cottage and you have cabins. What's the difference? Yeah, so this is a cottage. At cottages, there's no appliances in them. It's just gonna be beds. This one sleeps five as long as they're with our other cottages. Our cabins, which are bare wallow cabins, um, they're modern cabins. They have uh, refrigerators, stoves, microwaves, things like that. So this is a sturdy roof. You can mm -hmm. stay dry. You have to bring your own coolers and everything. All your own linens, coolers, everything like that. Yep. And we still have to wear a mask to go Inside, in? Inside, yes. I just want to check this out. Yep. Oh, this is very nice. Yeah. Is that a heater? Yeah, it is. It does have electric heat and outlets and things like that for charging your phone. But uh, as far as appliances, there's no appliances. How do you like that? This is Promised Land Lake, which a lot of people refer to as our upper lake. Um, here we have mostly warm season fishes, your bass, your, your pan fish. Um, it is electric motor only, so we don't, allow, we don't allow any gas powered boats on the lake. So we were here for an opening day of a trout season. Where was that? Opening season doubt, trout season is going to be at the lower lake. They do stock that with trout in early spring and throughout the spring. So they do have some cold fisheries down there, but also, also you'll find your bass and your panfish in the lower lake as well. This is the tip of Pickerel Point. This is a beach that campers can use here on Pickerel Point and, uh, and other day users. This is gorgeous. Yeah, it is. So again, you're saying the point and then the whole peninsula goes this way? Mm hmm and there's camping on both sides. There's everything from uh, walk-in, non-electric, to full hookup campsites here on Pickle Point. Oh, well, and we picked a beautiful day to we do did. this. We did. You got it. It's very it. nice out. When you see this after the winter that we had, this is just gorgeous. Last year, it came in April when everything was shut down. Um, us, like every other state park, had a very busy season. I, I think it was good that people realized when it, we couldn't do anything else, they could come out and enjoy their parks. Our campgrounds were busier than ever, and it was nice to see people come out. We couldn't do everything parks offered. There was some limiting programming. We couldn't do a lot of indoor stuff, but we did do some outdoor programming last year. Um, this year, we're hoping to increase that and do more outdoor programming type activities. So this is gonna air on Memorial Day, traditionally one of your busiest weekends. But like you said, last year, every weekend was busy. <laughs> every, every weekend felt like a Memorial Day weekend last year. I think the campground was booked every weekend the entire summer. Normally, state parks, we don't fill up that often. But like again, it was nice to see so many people come out and we, we get back to what, you know, get back to nature and get back to enjoying those things. Um, so it was nice to see, but we it was definitely busy. <laughs> this is the CCC Pavilion. It is available for reservations on the reservation system. Now, when you say CCC, you mean? Civilian Conservation Corps. They're the ones who were here in the 1930s and helped develop the park from the beginning. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And, and it still stands. Think still of the stands. Wood and the lumber yep. that's in that. That's awesome. Yep. So what do we have here? This is the park museum. It's called the Maskey Museum. And it's, uh, it's mostly a CCC museum, the Civilian Conservation Corps. There's a lot of artifacts and things like that inside. And 
So the CCC was a Civilian Conservation Corps that was developed in the 1930s to help uh, replant deforested areas and things like that, and it really started this park. They had a camp here located by Deerfield and Pickle Point, so a lot of these old buildings are actually from when they were here. Um, planting trees, developing trails, things like that. It was like to help us through the Great Depression, mm -hmm. put people to work, yep. and we benefited by this state park. Yes, yep. Wow, this is a pretty cool room. Mm -hmm. What is this, just a little nature center? Yeah, this is a little nature center. It has some displays in it, some educational displays that kids can come in and, you know, see things and touch things. I mean, new, we're getting new um, uh, fisher reports and <laughs> otter reports. I mean, right now, if you come in here, you can see animals that are just now being seen more and more in the woods. Yeah, definitely, definitely. We got a whole wall of different birds, some, some pull-out drawers with different artifacts in it. So yeah, definitely neat. I think as vaccinations increases and things like that, we I know we've already gotten guidance that we're gonna start allowing to do more programs. Um, this summer, we're actually looking forward to open up the Maskey Museum. Last year it was closed. Um, we're gonna run a lot more camps, some kayaking programs. Um, so we're, we're all gonna do a lot more programs here at the park, as well as some of our old virtual programs as well. We're, we're not completely opened up, but we are seeing more of a trend that way to be opening up. You do have overnight stay here. Mm -hmm. If somebody wants to get involved with that, what's the best way to book one of these? You can either go on our website and there'll be a link, or you can just go right on the visitpaparks.com or call the reservation system to look for campsites. And let's just face it, Promised Land State Park, gorgeous, fishing, boating, camping, all of those, and most state parks do. Thank you very much, Tara, for our tour of Promised Land State Park. We're gonna take a short break, but before we do, there's how you can get more information on the state park closest to you. We'll be right back.